Park. This is the 90 meter ski jump that was in the 1988 Olympics. It's the ski jump has been decommissioned, and uh, the smaller ski jumps have, have been um, decommissioned as well. They're keeping this 90 meter structure up as a, as a symbol of the 90, 1988 Olympics. And look on top there. Can you zoom in there to the to the top of that tower? It's been flooded with 4G. It looks like there's some 5G, and there's other antennas up there. Yeah. Too close to people. Yeah. So you can see the context here, where we are now. That's uh, that's Bow River down there, and that's looking into Northwest Calgary. If you look over here, unfortunately, this community here, they, these look like fairly expensive homes. Well, guess what? They're getting radiated. Dangerous EMF radiation into them. It's called Pascapoo. Right there. Can you zoom into that sign? And we're going to do some readings now just so, so you guys can see the radiation. And then we're going to walk up into the community and get another view of this tower. But isn't that sad? You know, this is a symbol of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And now it's turned into basically a 5G tower. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's off the charts. Oh, my God. These people are getting radiated in this community big time. They don't even know it. I hope some of them see this. This is this is peaked out at six. Already? It's already peaked out there. It's pulsating, you know, 4.8, 4.9, 5, 5.73, it's gone up to six. Uh, the power output from that tower is unbelievable. It's up to 2,800. Well, well over the public area usage of 1,000. 1,000 microwatts per meter square. It's well over that. But let's let's walk along here. <laughs> That's unbelievable, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. There's the tower there. Can you zoom in again on it? Just give people a good look. They're all around that tower. You know, they should call that the Tower of Death now. <laughs> You know, it's kind of sad because it's a it's a symbol of the city yeah. um, dying. It was from the 1988 Olympics, and now it's it's radiating people, and it's not used anymore. No, that's, that's it's been. I don't think anyone's used it since 1990. And now they don't. You know, it's just staying up there almost as a tourist. Yeah. Okay. So these are the homes. This thing is this thing is maxed out. 5.82, it's nearly fully maxed Just out. Hold there. It still. We're gonna do more readings as we look go. Look at by. it vine, look at it pulsating too. Yeah, yeah, the pulsation. Yeah, the pulsation is a a, a key um, dangerous aspect of the EMF radiation. Because it's it's hitting you like on, on different levels. Yeah. And just wait till 5G comes in. This isn't 5G isn't live. So uh, I, you know, people gotta wake up, man. They have to wake up. Yeah. So let's just walk down up. here. As you get closer to the fence line down here, you get even closer to that. Yeah, exactly. But look at the look at look at there. You know, the guy's up there on his balcony. He thinks he's you know in bliss here, right? See him there? Get around all the trees. Yeah, see him there? Look at all the look at all the homes. Yeah. Well there's a guy out there. Look at him. He's in his balcony. He thinks he's living the life. Yeah. But he's getting zapped by the radiation. Yeah. Hmm. You know. Like I said, these people do not know. 
don't read what's going on. They know G5 or 5G is coming and that's all they know. Five G is safe. That's why they're closing them down after Let's they open them up. So we can get wow, that's scary stuff. Look at all the homes all the way down the road. Isn't that this is this is scary. Like when you have kids. Still getting readings that far back, eh? shooting right over top of the houses. That's still... Two adverse, point, yeah, still yeah, adverse. Yeah, 2.94, and it's going to get worse. It's funny when you get on a different angle that uh, it showed over there, it was so extreme. So we're going to go up ahead. Let's go up just to this side and, and, we'll, and we'll check it out. We're at, we're at 3.19 here. That just jumped from two over here yeah. to three. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's over three right now. Car coming. So let's go over here. Just going to go on the other side of these residents and do another reading. We're going to come back to this site once the 5G is live. When I'm already here, they don't put on the 5G. You live in this area, do your research. Pay a little attention to reading about what's going on about 5G. This is pretty serious, people. We're out here trying to make people aware of what's going on. This is important for us. Nobody seems to be interested. Nobody's concerned about what's happening until the effects start happening to everybody. Thing you did last time, Stephen. Back up until you yeah. get. Yeah. So we're just playing here. Look, 
Yep. Sports nets. We'll do, uh, I'm at uh, 2.77 EMF and 5G is still not live. Blanket. It's important people understand that that's a blanket blanket of EMF radiation pulsating at people living here. This isn't just coming from one source. It's everywhere in the environment, right? Head to toe. We're at 'Cause the signal's dropping down. Yeah, because those antennas are so high. Yep. It's 3.56. If we keep going over there, it'll be down in that, that park down there. Can you zoom down to it? I bet you you know for sure it's gonna be uh six down in that park. We're yep. not gonna walk down there, but we're at 3.86 right now on the on the meter. We go from the collar. Yeah, the further we can be, because we're we're kind of outside the line, the travel of the EMF radiation coming out of those antennas. But also we're adding more because they because they're if you look up there. I'm just gonna yeah, I'm gonna zoom up there and see how see far it? we are away. But see the antennas are layered, so they're gonna be at different levels, and the further you go back, you're gonna get more more. That's quite a thing. distance. Even when you no, think about the angle the from the ground up to that tower, that's quite a distance. So this is getting higher as we walk back through the community. We're at 4.79 now. Peaked out. And it's pulsating. So this is basically an EMF radiation zone. These people don't even know what they're living in. But again, it's a blanket of EMF radiation head to toe. And the fact is through the pulsation, through the intensity of the frequency, and through the cumulative exposure every day, kids playing out here, people walking. Yeah. Do your research. We post something on National Citizens Alliance of a, it was a, it was a cell tower in uh, California beside, beside school. a school. Yeah. Four kids, yeah. cancer. Three teachers, cancer. This is real stuff. There's vested interest in the in the federal government, provincial, municipal governments, the telecommunication industry to cover it up. They want to push this this bizarre 5G AI world on us. Yeah, and they will control everything. Yeah, with and that. people don't yeah. realize we're going to lose 40 percent of our up to 40 percent of our jobs. Do we want this digital economy? Those, those, um, those political puppets in Ottawa say that we want it, but they never asked us. So let us know today, share the message. Do you want to zoom one more time into that? Yeah. That monstrosity right over the house there. This is unbelievable. This is what this camera won't even zoom too much. This is this is what there this country's go. doing. Yeah. Because you know the 1988 Olympics was a real positive event for this city yeah. and also for the country. Mm -hmm. And look what it's come evolved into. Unbelievable. I'm Thank gonna, you, everyone. I'm gonna turn you sure. this way just to show all the housing. Yeah. Yeah. Show that. Look at this whole community. This whole area. And as we back up further down the road, it's getting higher. It gets higher. So they, they are getting bombarded by this 24/7 blanket radiation yeah. in your mouth. All down that road, everywhere. In that community over there too. Yeah. Where that see the people biking? And kids. Yeah. Based on our estimates, that would be peaking out right there. And 
in terms of line of travel. That's got to be at least five football fields away. Yeah. So 500 yards away at least. Yeah. So that's crazy. And there's look, there's some people right there with their dog. See that? Well, they don't know, but it's it is what it is. Uh, share your comments. Um, we're going to be uh, doing more later uh, this coming week, but um, hopefully this has informed you, and uh, and we look forward to reading your comments and learning more about this issue. But the reason we're doing this, you know, we have four of us here today, yeah. and it's a long week, and we're here because we care about this issue. We believe that health comes first. Uh, the health of the Canadian health people comes west. first. What? And also our well-being in terms of... And they should uh, be aware of what is going on towards uh, in the society. That how this 5G is taking over and actually taking over their jobs and their livelihood and their well-being of their future, future kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and our, so, and our civil rights. Yeah, civil yeah. rights. We're going to... We won't Wait have... Up. We don't we don't have much privacy now, but under under the 5G world you have nothing. You have nothing. And <laughs> all your personal information in the public domain will be owned by someone else. Yeah. China. Companies. China. Yeah. So it is also uh, a way to infiltrate the security of a country. So the with the five G equipments, China is especially putting their Huawei technology under that. And so and and back home Huawei has a uh, terms with China government that they will have to release all the documents in case if uh, it comes to the security of, the, of their own country. So at the end of the day, China is loyal, Huawei is loyal to China, and so whatever equipment uh, they are they are sending to other countries, it's basically a digital trap that they are putting every country's security at risk. Yeah, and you and yeah. you and you and you could argue that for Nokia and Ericsson. Yeah. As well, Nokia and Ericsson. So as well, and uh, the the tower yesterday was Nokia. Obviously, we can't get close enough to that, but it's anyone's guess. And don't be fooled by the by the media. Rogers is putting out a mix of Ericsson and Huawei. Yeah. Just so you know, they always go for technology because uh, uh, certainly technology is uh, is uh, keeping everybody um, making everybody better. But at the same time, this 5G is a turning point in terms of technology because still 5G there was uh, there was still a peak in the cancer and everything but it was controllable but now after this uh, they will yeah. implement uh, cars uh, that will be self driven so they want to go through a totally ai uh, technology ai society and then off then there will be no control of humans over uh, technology that's the thing that's yeah that's what's coming and that's where we're going to lose all these jobs through the ai yeah and, and that's why they want antennas everywhere because it has to be seamless for these self-driving yeah. cars, self-driving trucks, self, -dri self everything. automotive, everything. So, so they, not only they will kill jobs, but they will keep an eye on you. They will do the surveillance. Social distancing is already, they will put all the cameras everywhere so that be they can everywhere. monitor you just like yeah. China is a prime example of what you can see, what they will yeah. bring in the future. What's the actual social distancing for? Does anybody know? It's hard to it's say. It's basically facial recognition. Yeah, exactly. Them. Because they can't pinpoint you if you're too close to yeah, somebody else. Exactly, yeah. This way they can so actually home in right on you. This COVID as a, as a back and as a tool to implement to, their strategy. It's a way to condition people. Yeah. And, and yeah, people will, they will acknowledge that people will welcome it. That's the worst part, yeah, right? Exactly. So, and they're using fear yeah. Yeah. to get people to do ir irrational things. Like give up their freedoms and... And they're telling the businesses everything's going to be much better, right? Yeah, yeah. It's exactly. It's be faster. But look after with your mask, when people can see so anymore. So I think that's it. To wear a mask.